So I'm Glenn Salkel, Professor of Public Health at the Sydney School of Public Health. I'm also a Chief Investigator on the STEP grant, the Screening Test Evaluation Program. A lot of our work focuses on decision aids and how we can make that accessible to people. So our team's developing an online decision aid. We call it Annalisa. Uh, it humanises what is a, an online interactive aid. Let's give an example of prostate cancer screening. At the moment there's conflicting evidence. Some trials say it works and some say it doesn't. How do people make sense of all the information about whether to screen, but also uh, express their preference as to what matters to them? So we're working on ways to graphically represent the evidence, the survival gains, the quality of life trade-offs and other factors and also allow for people to tell us via an interactive online decision aid what matters to them and say, well look, how important is it to you to survive at all costs uh, versus making real trade-offs between some of the downstream effects of not just having uh, cancer detected but the treatment as well. So we're finding that using a decision aid presents the evidence in such a way that people can see that maybe for PSA testing, it's actually not such a good test. I think decision aids are needed because some people, not everybody, need to feel confident that if, if they're having a screening test or undergoing treatment, that it's the best for them. So in one way, it actually empowers people with the information, sometimes mediated through the general practitioner or straight into their home, and gives them a sense of, of whether screening or a test or a treatment is right for them. So it's really an opinion, it doesn't replace uh, the medical consultation, but it provides an add-on, if you like, to make people feel confident about the choice that they're making.